Welcome to EMT class. Are you all up for the long hours and the hard work of being an EMT? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Nope. You know, not everyone's cut out for this life. You know, as an EMT, you gotta be ready for whatever life throws at you. And that is why you always wipe twice. Sweet Heimlich! Now class, pay attention, there's nothing quite like real life medical experience. Notice the coughing and how his hands are to his throat. These are classic signs of an airway obstruction. And remember, it's always important to verify that your victim's actually choking. Are you choking? I mean, that, that, was, a, that was a yes, right? Could have gone either way. All right, now for the abdominal thrust. Fun fact, you can't say Heimlich Maneuver anymore. People were getting hurt by the move and actually suing Heimlich. Please don't sue Mr. Heimlich. Mr. Barnes, what is he doing? I think he's trying to Heimlich himself. Um, abdominal thrust himself. All right, everyone with me now. Make one hand into a fist, wrap your arms around the victim, and then lift. Mr. Barnes, is this gonna be on the test? Um, it's a good, Question. I'll think about it, but remember, there are no bad questions in EMT class. <coughs> Woo! Not so bad, right? <coughs> Can I help you? Is this Erie Monster Theater 107? No, this is Emergency Medical Technician 701. Oh my god, I'm so sorry! Bye! Bye! Hey, Sebastian, do you, do you know how to get to the advising office from here? I really need to change my schedule. What are you talking about? We're gonna be certified EMTs. Certified badasses? <sighs> Look, I only signed up for this class for an easy science credit. I did not sign up for hard actual experience. Aren't you an engineering major? Minor, I'm a land basket weaving major. Wait, what? I didn't get into the underwater basket weaving program. Well, at least EMT training will be more useful than underwater basket weaving. Hey, Opal. Sophie, <laughs> I was sitting next to you in class. Um, what year did you say you were? Oh, um, I'm not a full-time student. I'm just taking this one class to make a career change. Okay, what do you do now? <laughs> um, I'm a dancer. Cool, so do you do like classical ballet or like hip hop? <laughs> yeah, something like that. I work at the club next to the Ginny's on 45th. Oh. Oh. So, um, do you want to be a full-time EMT too? No, I have much grander plans than this. Med school, residency, surgical fellowships. This is just a stepping stone. Not that being a full-time EMT isn't great. I wonder if we're gonna like uh, ride in the ambulance and, and, and honk the horn? And it set off the siren. Hey, man. Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah, I'm good. Just cleaning the drain. Yeah, no biggie. Is your arm stuck? We can help oh, no, you. No, 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 no. I'm cleaning the drain. All's good. Yeah, it's good. All right, then. Administering shock. Shock delivered. Still no pulse. Back to chest compressions. Oh, it's, it's five in the morning. I gotta keep my CPR skills up to par. If you're not ahead, you're behind. Beep! Beep! Shock advice. This makes no sense. Where is the new EMT classroom? Hold on, let me see. 
Oh, well, let's just cut through Gibbons Courtyard. Uh, we can't. The entire east side of campus exploded, remember? Right. The explosion could be seen from outer space. It was kind of a big deal. I don't know how you keep forgetting about it. Well, yeah, but while you were being a smartass, I found the building. I know you were all hoping class would be canceled today after an explosion of that size. But at this university, we just switch classrooms and move on. Now, I've got a big assignment for everyone that will hopefully give you all an introduction to life as an EMT. From amputations and avulsions to disembowelments and infections. That's, That's awesome. disgusting. Drum roll, please. You're all going on a scavenger hunt around campus in groups. Oh. Um, does this involve walking? Yes. Oh. Hey! No one said being an EMT was going to be easy. Sometimes you have to walk as far as 10 feet from the ambulance to reach a patient. 10 feet. Now I'll split you all up into teams, so find your name on the sheet and find your group members. If you complete the sheet, you pass your first assignment for EMT class. Can you define pass? Uh, passing grade. Okay, but what do you have to do to get an A, A plus? Just complete the sheet and I'll give you an A. A plus? Oh my god, yes, an A plus. Nathan and Oval? You're with me. Oh, goody! It's Opal. What is this garbage? I don't understand. Right, so first thing, so let's find some diphenhydramine. Diphenhydramine? I have that at my apartment. I give it to my grandma all the time. Let's go! <clears throat> okay, Joey and Sophie. Who's Sophie? Reporting for duty. Oh, wonderful. Uh, Mr. Barnes, um, there's only two of us on this list, so... Oh, yeah. Well, there, there wasn't enough for a trio, but I'm confident it can be done with just the two of you. Don't worry, Mr. Barnes. We can do anything we set our minds to. We'll spend all day and night checking things off the list if we have to. <sighs> Why, God? <sighs> Why her? God? <laughs> Budget cuts, right? All right, keep it down. My grandma's asleep. Just wait here. I'll be right back. Okay. How do you think she's getting this drug anyway? Is she drugging her grandma? Maybe. You think she let me try some? What kind of drug is this anyway? Maybe she's sedating her? What if she's already dead? Let's find out. No, we can't have our fingerprints on a dead body. All right, got it. Wait a minute, that's just Benadryl. I take like 12 of those a day. But this isn't diphenhydra... whatever. <laughs> Diphenhydramine? That's the generic name for Benadryl. Oh, um, yeah, I... I knew that. Yeah, it's for her allergies because she refuses to part with that damn... pet? Don't stare too long or it moves. Cool. Can you believe the co-op sells Benadryl for $20 a pack? I'd rather break out in hives than shell out that kind of cash again. Focus. We need to find a medical professional to interview. Hey, what about that guy? Oh, sure. He looks like a professional. Excuse me. Oh, jeez, Louise! What do you think you're doing scaring an innocent man just enjoying a day out on the park, huh? Sorry, sir. Um, we just couldn't help but notice that you seem to be a medical professional. Oh, I guess you could say that. Look, uh, we just came here to ask you something. Whatever you guys need, I got it. 
Stuff to make you sleep, stuff to keep you awake, stuff to make you in between like a constant state of James Franco. Uppers, downers, cider smack, and that sweet, sweet Tijuana gold. Um, we'll pass. Thanks. I also got hot cheetos and 7-Up. Oh, uh, can I? Um, we just wanted to ask you a question and then we'll be on our way. Uh, what is the most rewarding part of your job? Probably when I gave a middle schooler their first dosage of Adderall. It changes lives, that's tough. Thank you for your time. Um, <laughs> we just need your name. Ha! <laughs> Dr. Smack, PhD. Be sure to tell all your friends. So, are you even a real doctor? I have a doctorate. In what? I have a PhD! Dr. Smack here, what do you need? Of course I have diphenhydramine, who doesn't? Should probably stay in there. Um, hey, isn't this the corner of the park where that guy got his hand shot off last week? What was the clue again? Yesterday, EMTs responded to a call where a man lost a finger. Their ambulance came back without its magnetic decal. Extra credit for those who find the missing digit. So we're looking for a magnetic number? I guess so. No. A digit! Ooh. <laughs> Isn't it fascinating? Oh, hell no! No, 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 not a finger! Whoever had that finger must have had some big hands. <laughs> no, 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 don't touch it! You're right, you're right. My flesh isn't worthy enough to touch it. <sighs> Reminds me of the good old days at the club. Look, let's, let's just get out of here. The last clue just says, help someone in need. You know, I think I know someone who might actually need our help. Okay, second to last thing, get vital signs taken. <sighs> Thank God. Why can't you at least pretend to be interested in this class? Because that requires effort and determination, and I just don't have the energy for that. I have to save it for things like eating and napping. Oh my God, do you know who that is? That's Rex King. He's the head surgeon at the trauma center? He's the one who reattached that guy's leg after he was thrown off the mechanical bull? Yeah, well, he's also Sebastian's dad. Who? My roommate. Wait, really? Let's go talk to him. Come on. Of course I have diphenhydramine, you imbecile. Oh, uh, oh, mom, okay. <laughs> mom, uh, look, I'm sorry. Uh, no, uh, look, I gotta go. Uh, I will, I'll, I'll talk to you later. Okay, yeah, bye. Hello, sir, Mr. King. I mean, Dr. King. Can I help you? Sorry, I'm just a huge fan. Joey! How's it going, young man? Pretty good. I hear you and Sebastian are taking EMT class together. Pretty exciting. <laughs> yeah, it's all right, I guess. I can't tell you how proud I am of you boys. You guys are the real torchbearers for your generation, truly selfless in giving back your time to help others. Future, future heroes. Can I just ask one question? Why do people keep shoving things up their asses? <clears throat> You'd be surprised how often that happens. Sheila! Get my gloves! With the good grips! <sighs> Heroes? <laughs> yeah, right. What do you mean? We're learning how to help someone on their worst day. Look, I just took this class for the credit. I didn't take it to become a hero. Well, at least you're honest. You may be doing something good for the wrong reasons, but you're doing something good. I mean, I guess it's better than taking Looms 101. Yeah, and it's definitely better than organic chemistry. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, let's, uh, let's try to finish this thing off. Um, what's the final clue? Uh, help someone in need. Hmm. You know, I may actually know how we can cross this one off. Uh, let's go. Okay. Still have to get vital signs. I knew you'd still be here. What do you mean? Uh, I just got here. 
Just cleaning the drain, don't mind me. No, your arm is stuck. You've been here for over a day. It's true. I need help. Don't worry, my man. We got it covered. I got his right side. I'll take his left. Trust me, I'm used to handling men. What about me? Uh... Just stand there and don't touch anything. Okay. One, two, three. <laughs> sorry, sorry, just right, keep going. Sorry. <gasps> My strength has failed me. What's going to happen? Well, I've seen over 100 episodes of Untold Stories of the ER, and I saw 127 hours last week. So I say we Franco it. No! no! We are not losing this man's arm. Not today. What are you doing here? We came to help someone in need. Uh, sorry about the fan. My AC's broken. But we claimed him first! What? Can't we all just work together? I mean, isn't this what being an EMT is all about? It's not about being the first responder. It's about being the first responders. As in, together. Yeah. Can we get less lame speeches and more saving my arm? She won the man who did it for real. You. My bad. So what's our plan, Incident Commander? Um, well, uh, I say we butter him up. Butter him up? Yeah. Okay, you heard the man. Let's butter the man up. Good thing I always carry butter. Mm. Whoa, 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 no, no, no. On his arm. Oh, of course. I can't believe this. No, it's, it's real butter. We'll pull on your command, I see. Okay. Everybody get in position. All right. All right. On the count of three. One, two, Lord have mercy. Three! Yeah. Come on! Come on! Well, that was my exercise for the month. Okay, is it your hand that's stuck or is it your arm? Like, it's impossible to tell. Maybe we need a little more light. No! Maybe we should call 911. Oh, wait, uh, Mr. Barnes! Mr. Barnes, we finished. We finally finished. Oh, did you? All not get my text? I called off the scavenger hunt after the first group got back two hours ago. Uh, no. Oh, damn, I didn't send it. No! What we start, we finish. You asked us to complete a task, so here you go. Completed. Well, what can I say? Did you all work together to do this? Sure did. Wait, hold on. Do I know you? Have you been in this class the whole time? Well, you all exemplified great teamwork, and for that, you all get a celebratory stick of gum. We'll take this gum and share it amongst ourselves, because that is what we do. Because we are a team, and we do things together. Is this what socialism is like? I think this is going to be a great year, team. <gasps> Holy head trauma! Are you okay? Did you tell us what happened? He gave my brother drugs and now he won't stop acting like James Franco. <laughs> Linda's brother was never the same again. That's why we need your help to catch this crook. Gerald Lipinski was last seen at the University Oaks Park and there is a $50 reward for any information on his whereabouts. He may also go under the pseudonym Dr. Smack, though he is not a real doctor. Hey, that's not true. He has a PhD.